Yeah. All right. Uh, so this video is just a, another quick one here. Um, this is for fixing your weapon model disappearing when you swing it. If you have imported uh, like a custom model, uh, especially if you use my old video on doing so, uh, I've learned some new things since then. So I will be doing a new updated video for that kind of thing um, soon, but uh, just kind of as a placeholder. Um, the reason it's disappearing is because of your bounding box. Uh, the easiest fix for this is using the bounding box patch calculator. Um, I'll have that linked in the description, all that kind of stuff. So right over here on the right, we have our, um, our, our weapon we replaced was the weathered uh, straight sword from Elden Ring and it was disappearing when I would swing it uh, at certain angles or if the camera was too close to it. So to fix that, this is one of those rare occasions here where we're going to actually drag and drop that on Yabber DCX, not Yabber EXE. It's gonna spit out a parts BND and a DCX XML. Uh, you will want to keep both of those things. I'm gonna delete this old one here. Actually, I'm just gonna put it on desktop. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take that parts BND and drop it on the bounding box patch calculator and then hit N for no. Uh, this right here is just, you can read it if you want to, but to do this, you just click N for no, and then it's gonna ask you again, if you want a custom bounding box multiplier, just no, you don't need it. And then it'll run it. It'll spit out this info for you. Um, I'm just gonna delete the backup one because I don't need it. We're gonna take the parts BND again, now that we've made our change to it, drop it on the Aber DCX. It'll repack it all nice and good for you here. Uh, you can now safely get rid of the unpacked DCX versions and here you go. Now you can take that, drop that back in your parts folder and your weapon should no longer be disappearing anymore. Um, if it is, that is very weird because, well, it shouldn't, but uh, hit me up on my Discord um, and we can work through it together to try and fix it. So, uh, yeah, that'll be that. Keep your eye out for the updated weapon guide coming soon.